All right, today we are going to be doing something different, and that is a framer tutorial. Because a few weeks ago, I asked you guys if you'd like to see framer related content, and you said yes, to my surprise. So today we are going to be building a little landing page to see how easy it is to implement one on the fly. And then we are going to be taking one of their templates from their massive collection of templates and we are going to be modifying it and trying to make it our own to see how fast you can do that. So let's get started. All right, so this is the back end of Framer. This is where you will have all your projects and everything that you are working on. So as you can see, I have quite a few because I've been playing around with Framer, but we're going to forget about that. And what we want is start a new project, right? So we're going to start working on a very simplistic landing page. It's more of a skeleton. And I want you to see how easy you can pull it off. You can build it up. So as you can see, you are prompted to this. It looks a little bit like Figma, if you know Figma. And if you click on it, on the frame, you will see that you have all these elements on the right hand side that will help you to achieve the design that you want. So as you can see, for now, we have only the desktop version of our website available here for us but we want to add also um, a version for tablet and one for mobile right so how you do that you simply go here go to breakpoints click and select tablet and go here select phone and voila i think this is pretty easy and pretty cool right and i, I like how easy it is that you can see them on the canva just like in um, Figma. Of course, you can change these values here if you want. You can change the name of the breakpoint, but I think you should not do that. It's better to keep it the way it is. The name, there, th that is. But this, you can change it. I'm not going to. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to leave it like this. And let's just move on. So as you can see on the left hand side, you have pages, layers and assets. And let's start to the pages. So for now, we only have the home page set up. But if I go here and add another page, right? This is a new page. Of course, you can rename it uh, whatever name you want. Um, about, let's say. You can simply navigate through uh, these pages like this by clicking H. So I'm going to zoom out because this is too much. So you would have to do the same thing as breakpoints for the home page uh, or for the about page as we did for the home page. But I'm not going to focus on this. This was just a little introduction. All right. So let's go to our layers. As you can see, the layers we have here are the desktop, tablet and phone um, on the home page. On the about page, we only have the desktop. So you would see everything that you have on this Canva as a layer underneath, regardless of what it is. So let me just bring in, hmm, what should I bring in? Okay, I'm gonna bring in a, an image, okay? And as you can see, it added this image. Let me just make it smaller. It added this image on the about page uh, layer. So that's cool. Again, this is something that if you are familiar with Figma, you know from Figma. So again, if you are familiar with Figma, a framework will be pretty easy. If not, trust me, it's still easy. And maybe it will help you learn Figma. Who knows? All right, so let's go to assets. And the assets in this case will be uh, the assets that you already set as uh, styles for your website so i'm not going to go into that that's a little bit more advanced we're just going to focus on the simple things so i'm going to go to pages i'm going to go to home and we're going to focus on this so if i go to insert i have access to all these basic components and these components are sections that you can add to your website or full on pages so let's add a page add the page yeah well, now it's loading and the page has been added so let's see what happened here and we the only thing that we need to do is add navigation and add uh, the footer which i think i'm not mistaken yeah basically that is kind of a footer i mean 
<laughs> that was pretty easy, right? So let's go to insert. I'm going to go to navigation and I'm just going to drop in this. Okay, I don't know why it goes there. But what you can do is simply uh, drag it up by holding your mouse and it's there. And uh, if you see, let me just zoom in. As you see, there is a purple uh, frame around it. So if you double click on it, it takes you to layers, the layers of this nav bar. So this is where you will would customize it. So instead of discover, I would say, I don't know, purple. <laughs> something like that whatever you want to change it with and you can also change your logo if you have a logo available if not drag it in here and just paste it and change it there so these changes would take effect on the home page so let's go back to the home page and as you can see it has changed to purple it's not very complicated but it takes a little bit of practice all right so we could add an image here let me just have a look what images do i have all right so this is going to be very random i'm gonna just put this in <laughs> if you know what this is you know all right so let's go and see what happened to the other uh, frames so the image has been done uh, has been responsibly 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 adjusted for tablet and phone and there's nothing you have to do how freaking easy is that so click on the text and as you can see i don't know if you see let me move myself and as you can see the content should be filled in here so my first landing page in Primer and voila it's too big but you can also do this so <laughs> wow so I clicked by mistake on the AI editor and this is what is giving me so you don't have to pay for it to rewrite <laughs> your text it does it for you how cool is this all right so we are back in the dashboard and now we are going to be using a template already made obviously to uh, see how we can change it up with our own text so i'm gonna go to see all featured templates and as you can see they cover so many industries so there's something for everyone but i'm gonna go with a free template and let's go and have a look as you can see there's so so many and i think i'm gonna go with this one no particular reason let's go and use it for free you can preview it but i'm just gonna jump right in and this template already has a cms included but we're gonna visit that so we're gonna talk about it a bit as you can see the template has been prepared for desktop tablet and phone so you don't have to do anything about that now let's go to see what we have in terms of components let's go to assets and as you can see we have a few so buttons rows so all this can be changed from here and if you change it here it will change on the front end so let's go back to home again let's say that you like this a lot so <laughs> you simply want to change the text and probably some images because let's face it you don't want to have the stock images in, in here and who knows maybe the color scheme and so on so let's see if i click on this text once you can see here that you can change the content right there so let's say i'm showing you how to change the text heading in Framer. and now just click on the template and it's changed you can also move this a little thing here i'm gonna put it right under framer and kind of like change the angle a bit if you want to change the angle you go in the corner and just move it wiggle it around like that all right i like this maybe move it like this maybe move this so this is a button you can change the button here you can change the color from here let's say we don't want that color we want it 
very orange or very dark red i don't know whatever your preference or your branding is you can change it from here you can change the text from there as well let's go back you can change the text we need you now enter and it's changed super super duper easy let's go here i'm gonna zoom in so it's easier for me to see and it's easier for you to see as well i can change again the color from here let's change it to what goes with this orange hmm not much <laughs> i'm gonna change it with okay let's say something dark and the text is going to be kind of bright yeah it's um it needs some work obviously but you know what it's not that difficult right i wouldn't say it's the best <laughs> color scheme that i've ever chosen but uh, yeah all right so here as you can see you cannot change the the color but you can exchange this to something else so it matches the branding of your um, elements and of course as you can see this is a component and if i double click on it you can go in the component and change your logo your name let's say we are designers this is the name of our company okay no judgment and then let's say let's change this one to about and let's say somehow this color is different so let's see why it is it different or is it me i'm not going to change the logo because i don't have a logo already but let's go back and let's see if these changes have been implemented so we want to see this changed and this changed okay there you have it okay that needs a little bit of work i don't know why it has a different color but yeah all right so maybe we don't want this color to have we don't want to have this color here i'm gonna change it to my orange and i'm gonna copy this and change it here and change it here as well where is it click on it and paste and voila it's changed this element i assume it's not yeah this could be that is oh no you can actually change the color all right so let's make it maybe white makes more sense i guess and if you want to zoom in as you can see they are oh so you have to click on each to make it white it doesn't look funky and like that aha uh -huh. all right it's looking good okay so if you want to rewrite this for example with ai if i hover over this it says rewrite with ai click on it it does it for you same here of course you can change your own text just click on it and you change it from here from content remember always from content and this content again super super easy guys no headache so if you want to add an extra element to the template you either go to insert and click whatever section that suits you let's say this one maybe and it's going to be added at the end because we were at the end so i'm gonna grab it and i'm gonna drag it maybe right here makes more sense and this is an image that you can replace if you double click and let's just go and choose an image and it's added and then continue doing that um until you're done with customizing your template but honestly it's so easy in the sense that you do not have to bother with customizing any spacing breakpoints are already set the only ha thing you have to focus is on your content and maybe removing elements that you don't want. For example, maybe I don't want this and this. Maybe I don't want this either. Make it cleaner a bit. Maybe I don't want all this. Maybe it's too much. Again, we will revisit this in a more or longer video or longer videos in the future where we're going to focus on different elements so we can learn this properly but this was kind of an intro to to see and have a look and get an idea what framer is because it can be overwhelming especially if you're coming from 
WordPress, from Elementor especially, where you think that I know everything, I don't need something new, and it's kind of scary to move to something that you don't know. Change is always scary, but change is also very good. So I hope you kind of got an idea and I'll see you next time. If you'd like to see what else you can build, watch this playlist here or here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video. And I'll see you next time.